In this video, I'm going to show you the steps you need to take to repair a big ass tear in your inflatable boat. Keep watching. A little while back, we got a huge tear in our dinghy while we were in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Um, I'm not going to go into how that happened, but if you want to know, uh, you can watch this video right here. In this video, we're going to show you what it takes to repair it. And this is a big repair, um, the kind of repair that requires not just an outside patch, but also an inside patch. That said, these techniques can be used to repair smaller repairs, pinholes or small tears as well. Um, you can just skip the inside patch portion of the video. There are a number of different glues that you can use to repair uh, either PVC or Hypalon uh, inflatable dinghies. Uh, in this case ours is Hypalon and we are using a Weaver two-part adhesive. This can be found on Defender. I'm not going to go deep into what types of glue although I will say this is the one I used and it's lasted and it's worked awesome. Since glues can be different, make sure that you follow the manufacturer's directions on the glue that you're using. In addition to glue, I highly recommend getting a big ass piece of either Hypalon or PVC patch. This I also found on Defender. This is a replacement patch, but I probably used about half of this roll during this repair that you're gonna see. Step one is to size and cut your patch. The patch should overlap the cut or the hole at least one and a half inches in each direction. Any tear more than three inches should get an inside patch. Make sure you round the corners of the patch. You can use a jar lid to create a nice even rounded edge. Sand all areas receiving glue with emery cloth. You really just need to scuff the surface. Wipe the area clean with Tulene. Make sure you only sand and clean the areas receiving glue. I've read that MEK or acetone will work in a jam, but Tulene is by far the preferred solution. Mix your glue if needed. Just make sure you follow the manufacturer's directions. We're using a two-part glue, so we have to mix it. So I'm going to stop here and, and, and talk a little bit about this inside patch because it really is kind of a difficult repair and it can be so different depending on how your tear is in your dinghy um, or your inflatable. Ours was so big, I mean, I could put my entire arm in the tube. So I had the luxury of actually having full access, enough to actually put glue on while the patch was inside. You may not have that. But one technique is to apply the glue to the patch before you put it in, put a piece of plastic over the top, a clean plastic shopping bag will work if you cut that up and put it over the top. Then you can roll it up with the glue covered by the plastic, insert that into the hole, unroll it, and remove the plastic, and then you can apply it. You would need the glue applied to the patch and then the inside of the tube first, and you'd have to be very, very careful not to let those uh, surfaces touch um, before you want them to because as soon as they touch they will stick and you'll have a hell of a time All I got to say is for the inside patch. You gotta be creative. You gotta think outside of the box I hope that you don't need to do the inside patch, but if you do Here's how I did it. There's really no easy way for us to get a nice clean line where uh, We can get glue on the inside of the tube So what I've done is just taken a shopping bag with some plastic and use a little bit of double-sided tape and um, what we're going to do is actually stick this in place, um, kind of against the inside of the hull, and then we're going to coat everything. And the way it's set up, we can fold over part of the Hyphalon tube, and then the other half we can put in here. To apply the glue, you can take a cheap paintbrush and cut the bristles short. The glue we're using calls for us to apply a thin layer to both the patch and the dinghy. 
Let it sit until it's dry to the touch, about 5 to 15 minutes, and then apply a second layer of glue and let that dry until it's just tacky to the touch. Make contact keeping the material as flat as possible, and make sure not to overlap the tear. Use a smoother to work out any air bubbles. Here we used a paint scraper, but something made of plastic would be a better choice. With our glue, we let it sit for about six hours and then inflated the tube. For the outside patch, we're just repeating the same steps. Cut and mark your patch. Sand and clean the area and the patch. Apply glue to the patch and the boat surface. Use painter's tape to keep a clean edge. Follow the directions on the glue. Carefully apply the patch. Work out any air bubbles. Then let it set for 24 hours. You'll be back at the bar before you know it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please click like and subscribe now.